Okay, welcome to the Metasys training videos. Uh, today we're going to look at global search and what that means, what it does, uh, how we can use it here. Okay, so I picked a job uh, It has a lot of individual rooms uh, in an assisted living facility. So we are going to look at uh, what the global search is, how we get to it, how to use it, and uh, hopefully show you some cool features with it. All right, so first of all, let's go to uh, all the way to the top of the tree here. We're looking under the main tree. Uh, we're going to look into independent living south. And let's say we want to see the temperature in each one of these rooms. I'm going to grab that room, drag it over. You see we've got room 100, space temperature is 77. Room 101, space temperature 78. Now I can go down through each one of these rooms on the first, second, and third floors and look at this one at a time, or I can highlight Independent Living South. Go up to the menu, Query, Global Search. Now since I have it highlighted here in the left hand screen, it automatically plops that in the search locations here. Uh, if that's not where I want to look, I can always remove it, click Add, uh, look under my user views, or, or I'm sorry, uh, Legro Willoughby, and pick it from the list here, and say OK. Uh, once I pick where I want to look for this, I go over into object name. Now the name of the point we wanted to look at was space temperature. So I'm going to do asterisk space temperature and click search. Now it's going to immediately search under independent living south for any object that has the name space temperature in it at the beginning. Uh, that little asterisk sign right there means anything. So as I'm looking, I can say anything that has space temperature at the end of the word. So here it is. It plops them up here. Space temperature, space temperature, space temperature. Here's all of our points. Uh, it shows us where those are located, room 100, room 101, 102, uh, so on and so forth. Um, now we can start looking down through the list here and seeing uh, the temperatures in the individual rooms. Uh, but it, let's say we were looking to see who has the highest room temperature and who has the lowest room temperature. We can actually uh, go by value, click on this uh, column header, and sort it by value. So here we go, room 119 is 71 and also 319 is 71. So we can see they've got their thermostats jacked down. Also, we can see at the bottom here that uh, room 108 seems to like it at 82 degrees. Either that or there is something wrong with their air conditioner. So that's just a quick view of how to use uh, basics on the global search viewer function here. Now, let's say we want to compare space temperature with space set point uh, so that we could better define what is uh, functioning out of range and what is not. Uh, we're going to select the point effective cooling set point here. Okay, now we've already got independent living south in our search location. I'm just going to change this to effective. Now I'm going to do something different here. Cooling use the asterisk again. Now anything that has effective cooling in the title will be brought into my list. Hit the search button and there we go. It found an extra 55 items for a total of 110. Now it automatically populates those items to the bottom of the screen here. So what we're going to do to compare the two is sort it by location. So we start 1401, set point, temperature, set point, temperature, set point, temperature. We can see that most of these are functioning properly. 
So this gives us a quick way to look at uh, a lot of information at one time. Now let's say we want to keep this. We want to keep this so we don't have to go through the whole global search thing all over again and type in up here and make sure that our search locations are correct. If we get a good search that we like to use and we want to use it again and again and again, what we can do is go up to the query menu again, click on save object list. Now what this is going to do is it's going to save the list of things under that query. And we're going to call this uh, independent living uh, um, temperature set points. Uh, category, we can categorize it under different things. Uh, this helps whenever you're setting up um, permissions with your um, administrative view, which we'll talk about on another video. Uh, for this one, we're going to leave it HVAC and save it. Now we're going to go look at something else real quick because uh, on the second floor here, room 205, they just called a second ago and told me they were hot, so I'm going to look over here. and. Their effective cooling set point is 77, and their space temperature is 77. And their adjustment is down to, oh, look at that. Their adjustment is down 2 degrees. They are cooling to where they should be. Now, once I take a look at that, if I want to go back to that um, uh, query we were looking at, I could either hit this back button to get back there, or no matter where I am, I can always go up to Query, Open Object List, and select it from right here, Independent Living Temperature Set Points, Open. Let's snooze that again. Oh, there we go. Here's our list again. Straight from the press, all items are here. This is all real-time data. So this isn't the same data that was in there before. This updates every few seconds. And that's all real-time data there. Uh, one more thing that we'll go over with this before we're finished. We're going to clear the list. Yes. And we're going to look for extensions. Uh, if we go up here to object name, we're going to leave just the asterisk there. And we're going to look for every trend under independent living. We're going to hit search. Now we have a lot of trends on here, so I think we're going to actually overwhelm the number of objects that we're going to find. Um, it only allows you to pull up a certain, I think it's uh, 500 points. You can see it's populating them. It looks like room 100 and 101 have a lot of trends on them. Perhaps there's some uh, issues in those areas. It looks like they all have um, trends on them. So now we're pulling up all the trends here. Once it finishes this, we'll be able to open up each one of these trends to take a look at it independently. Or if we wanted to look at multiples, um, let's just go ahead and stop this. It's, it's going to keep going until it finds them all. Let's hit stop. Let's say I want to look at more than one trend at the same time. Uh, let's go ahead and look at it by label. And we want to look at all the space temperature trends. Um, actually, we're not going to be able to do it that way. Let's say we just want to compare a few trends. We're going to click space temperature, uh, space temperature, hold down the control key, space temperature, or to select multiple ones, space temperature, space temperature. OK, and we'll stop right there. We're going to go up to View, Trend Viewer. And now you see it automatically pops, populates the Trend Viewer with those points. 
so we can compare all those points together. So that's just an added feature that you can use, uh, the Trend Viewer, which we'll go over another time. Uh, but that's one feature you can use from this list here to help you uh, troubleshoot your equipment. All right, so I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if there's any questions, you can leave a message on the board. And I uh, appreciate it. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.